Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool screen pump effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, I'm sure you probably heard of a screen pump and this is what the screen pump effect looks like right here. As you can see, this is what the uh, screen pump looks like. It's definitely a really cool effect and it's definitely an effect save for like a certain type of music. Anytime like uh, maybe the drums hit, a beat drops or a bass hits, it's definitely a really cool effect to kind of uh, go with the actual music. So it's definitely a really cool um, effect. So I'm gonna go over basically just how to create the effect the basics of the effect right here as you can see right here this is where the music starts right here I'm gonna go ahead and just change the music back so as you can see right here this is what it looks like right here so these yellow markers are basically where the beat drops right here so these yellow markers are where the beat actually um, drops right there now all I did was I went ahead and just pressed M on the keyboard created a marker and then I just changed it to uh, chapter right here it's good to kind of identify where the actual beat um, drops and then where you want to actually start and end um, the keyframe as you can see right here I placed a marker where the beat drops that's basically the first step now what you want to do is now you want to go two to four frames back so one two so that's two frames or you could go with three four so basically what I just did was I went one two frames back and then I placed a marker right here then I went back to, to the where the beat drops and then I went one two frames forward and then I placed another marker now again you could either go three or four frames forward but in this case I just went two frames forward so and then I placed another marker now what I did was I went back to the first marker right here and then I created a keyframe on the scale right here. And then I went one, two frames right where the beat drops right here. And then I increased the scale to 145. And then I went one, two frames right here. And then I changed the scale back to 125. Now you can keep on doing this right here. So we're gonna start another keyframe right here. The scale's at 125. Then we'll go one, two frames right here. And then we're gonna change the scale to 145. Go one, two frames, change the scale back to 125. And then one, two frames back to 145. And then one, two, back to 125. Now this is a screen recorded clip, so I had to already like increase the scale because we're black bars. But if it's your own clip and you actually own the footage, then the scale will just be at 100 and you're just going to increase it to like 125. I would encourage you to probably increase the scale to 15 to 20%. I found that looks um, the best right there so as you can see again here are the markers basically where the beat drops um, that's important you want to actually find where the beat actually drops so let's go one more time frame by frame so let's wait till we want to start right here okay so here's where it starts so we're gonna keyframe the scale right here to 125 now we're gonna go one two increase the scale in 145 this is where the beat drops then we're gonna go one two scale back to 125 then one two back to 145 again where the beat drops and one two will decrease it back to 125 one two increase it to 145 because again that's where the uh the beat drops and then one two the scale is back down to this normal 125 or in your case it'll probably be back to 100 um percent and that's literally basically how you create um this effect it's a very easy um effect and it's definitely a very useful effect again anytime like the the drums hit the beat drops the bass drops or something um that kind of coincides with this screen pump effect it definitely just helps add a little bit um, to your actual video same thing with the flicker effect it's one of those things that it complements the music very well and it can basically just turn a very boring shot into a very interesting shot um, right there and there you go that's a, it's a very simple way to do it and the screen pump is a very simple effect yet it is a very effective effect and I definitely really like it and hopefully you also like it and now you know how to create a uh, screen pump I definitely really like this effect and hopefully you also like this too I'm sure you've probably seen this effect somewhere and now you know how to create this really cool screen pump effect and it's as simple as that definitely a really cool effect and I encourage you um, to use the use the effect in some of your future videos anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time 
So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, the Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 160 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.